So tomorrow, a message from the Department of Public Health Commissioner Monica Burrell will be sent to 4.5 million phone lines across Massachusetts via the Everbridge Resident Connection Alert System, reminding residents of the increased risk of contracting and spreading COVID-19 over the coming holiday season. This is our second message utilizing the Everbridge Alert System. The message is in both Spanish and English. Residents will be reminded of the new measures that are in effect as of November 6th, including limiting private gatherings to 10 people indoors and 25 people outdoors. The alert will also update residents on quarantine orders for visitors from high-risk states. At this time, the only states that are not considered high-risk are Hawaii, Vermont, Maine, and New Hampshire. Weekly state travel data is released on Fridays, and everyone is urged to check the website, as we expect two of our neighboring states will be added to high-risk states. This alert is also part of a larger campaign to higher risk communities that includes paid advertising and other communications to remind residents that the pandemic is still with us. And these best practices help protect families, friends, and neighbors. Residents can choose to receive future messages by text, email, or phone in their preferred language by opting in at mass.gov slash COVID alerts. As the governor has continued to impress over these past few weeks, COVID-19 cases are on the rise across the Commonwealth. The uptick in cases also means there's increased exposure to COVID. The Department of Public Health has issued new quarantine guidance that takes effect today. While the initial guidance to quarantine for 14 days after exposure still stands, this update allows those who have been exposed to COVID to test out of quarantine after 10 days if they meet all of the following parameters. One, they have not had and do not have any symptoms similar to COVID. Second, they get tested on day eight of their quarantine period or later using a molecular diagnostic test, the PCR test, and receive a negative test result. And thirdly, they must continue to monitor themselves for symptoms for the full 14 days. Any individual that develops symptoms should contact their local health care provider and be retested. While there has been no change to COVID-19 travel orders, the directives are worthy of repeating as families plan their Thanksgiving holidays. All visitors entering Massachusetts, including returning residents who do not meet an exemption, are required to complete the Massachusetts travel form prior to arrival unless you're visiting from a lower risk state. You must quarantine for 14 days or produce the negative COVID-19 test result that's been administered up to 72 hours prior to your arrival. If your COVID-19 test result has not been received prior to arrival, visitors and residents must quarantine until their negative test result. Full information and guidance for persons in quarantine due to COVID-19 obviously can be found at mass.gov backslash COVID-19. It's worth reiterating what the governor has said about Thanksgiving. As you plan for the Thanksgiving holiday, do your part to keep your friends, families, and communities safe during COVID-19. If you host a holiday celebration, keep it very small. Limit in-person holiday gatherings to only people you live with or limit to a small group of individuals with whom are part of your bubble. Anytime you're near people you don't live with, be certain to wear a mask when not eating or drinking, wash your hands often with soap and water, and stay at least six feet apart. Consider if those around you might be at higher risk of severe illness from COVID, such as older adults or those with certain medical conditions, and take extra precautions. If gathering indoors, improve ventilation by opening windows and doors. Keep visits short. Gatherings that last longer pose more risk than shorter ones. Avoid sharing food and drinks. Avoid shaking hands and hugging. Avoid singing, dance, and shouting. I know there's a lot of voids in, avoids in this. These activities increase your chances of catching COVID through the air. I know that for many families across the state, this guidance dramatically impacts longstanding family traditions and is devoid of human interaction. We have all been missing since March. But it's crucial that we follow Department of Public Health and CDC guidance to help stop the spread of COVID-19 in our communities. Before I turn it over to Commissioner Riley, I just want to give a brief update on the Buy Next Now validation study. And as I do this, I want to give a shout out to Dr. Smalley and the group at the Department of Public Health because they actually led the study. 
The Department of Public Health recently completed a study to compare the rapid point of care Abbott Binex Now test to the PCR test, which as you know is the gold, or gold standard for detecting COVID-19. The Abbott Binex Now rapid test is a simple, quick, inexpensive test that produ produces results in approximately 15 minutes. The Department of Public Health collaborated with Lawrence General Hospital, Boston Children's Hospital, and the Broad Institute to enroll over 1,600 individuals between October 26th and November 12th at the Lawrence Community COVID-19 Testing Center, which is a state-supported Stop the Spread site. Two nasal swabs from each participant who volunteered for the study were collected for testing by the Binex Now Rapid Test and the PCR test performed in parallel. Individuals were also asked to report on the presence or absence of COVID-19 symptoms within the last week or so. The Binex Now Rapid Test was able to successfully detect COVID-19 in children and young people 79% of the time and in adults 97% of the time if they had reported symptoms within the last week. Only five Binex Now tests during the entire study produced a false positive result where the antigen test incorrectly indicated the presence of COVID-19 when the PCR test was negative. This happened in three out of every 1,000 people and is considered a very low rate for a rapid test. We are very encouraged by this as we roll out the Abbott Binex surveillance across the Commonwealth. 